One of the biggest questions we face as human beings on the planet Earth is the possibility of alien life, other worlds, maybe other civilizations, other smart people who are like us in some ways and unlike us in many others. So what do the folks who study these questions think? This is astrobiologist Dr. Caitlin Rasmussen. I spoke with her at the 107-inch telescope at the McDonald Observatory in Texas. So I think the general opinion in the field of astrobiology is that there is a lot of life out there in the galaxy. Um, you know, I really think that the galaxy is absolutely teeming with life. Whether that life is intelligent, is, uh, it's, it's, up, it's really up for question, but I have no doubt, and many of my peers have no doubt that there is a lot of life out there. And her colleague, Miles Curry, also an astrobiologist. Right, yeah, so I would say most astronomers um, have come to the consensus that we think there is some kind of life out there. Now, whether that is intelligent life or just, you know, microbes out there is a totally different question. And this is Dakota Tyler. He's an astrophysicist. So most astronomers believe that there is life in the universe, without a doubt. A lot? A little? Um, a lot or a little could depend upon, you know, exactly what you're talking about in terms of intelligence or advanced civilization. But I would say a lot of life. That shouldn't come as a surprise. In 1952, Miller and Urey put a sample of the primordial Earth's atmosphere into a test tube, sparked it to simulate lightning, and created more than 20 amino acids, the basic building blocks of life. But there was nothing about their mixture unique to the Earth. It was what the atmosphere would consist of on any newly formed rocky volcanic planet. The miller urey experiment gets replicated all the time. Only now, we've refined it with better estimates of the atmospheric composition, and we get even more amino acids produced. Those same conditions have been happening on rocky planets throughout the universe since the beginning of time. So how many planets is that? Well, check this out. It's a video from NASA showing all the exoplanets we've found so far. We found over 5,000, but that number is going up so fast that 5,000 probably sounds comically low by the time you're watching this. And that super dense patch of planets right there, it's not that there are more planets there than anywhere else. That's just where we happen to know about a lot of them because it's where the Kepler Space Telescope was pointed for the duration of its initial mission, which was to do a really deep study of just one tiny patch of sky. There are actually even more there, a lot more, that Kepler wasn't able to resolve. And that's really what the entire Milky Way looks like. In fact, we figure there are tens of billions of planets, and that's just right here in our local galaxy. That's more planets than there are people on Earth. Billions more. On all those planets, are there any civilizations right now? Rich civilizations with culture, arts, science, history, and space programs of their own. Now, I don't know what your math tells you, but my math says there are probably many out there right now. <laughs>